Perundangan pengurangan inflasi yang baru disahkan dan mengandung banyak program insentif bagi energi terbarukan umumnya mendapat respons positif dari aktivis lingkungan. Tapi sebagian undang-undang ini juga mengundang pertanyaan. This climate package, this latest climate bill, while it contains a number of amazing and historical and unprecedented measures to to enable the United States to confront the climate crisis, a core bargaining chip was a provision that would require the Department of the Interior to lease more lands for oil and gas extraction. So it's a bit at odds with the overall goal of the the legislation. Um, it's a bitter pill, uh, for sure. I wouldn't call it a poison pill, uh, but it's a bitter pill to swallow. Um, you know, leasing lands to the oil and gas industry and enabling companies like Exxon and Occidental Petroleum and Chevron to continue to produce more oil and gas and reap record profits is just not the direction we need to be headed uh, when we are experiencing firsthand the effects of the climate crisis. Tapi bagi pengamat industri energi, kompromi seperti ini menunjukkan pendukung energi terbarukan juga memahami realitas pasar energi saat ini. What it allowed for was the Uh, industry participants to realize that you know Washington is coming to terms with the fact that oil and gas isn't something that can be transitioned away in five to ten years. It's something that the economy relies on, not just here in the United States, but all over the world. Globally, demand is not going to decline in the next ten years. Uh, whether it declines here in the United States or in the EU, you know, is to be determined. But globally, the demand is going to continue to increase, and so. Um, You know what what the bill does here in the United States is it allows the operators continue to participate in that global market, but it also encourages you know cleaner, uh, safer, more secure fuels to be developed uh, here at home. Analis lain mencermati dampak perundangan ini tak akan seketika. Changes to leasing policy now uh, tend to have very delayed impacts on oil and gas production, and that's the for the same reason um, for, for that same reason. Uh, oil and gas production on federal lands has not really declined uh, over the past couple of years, despite the fact that the Biden administration for uh, a while uh, stopped all new leasing activity because existing leases were not unaffected by any of those policy changes uh, and those continue to produce and continue to be developed. Menurut pantauan Departemen Energi Amerika, produksi dalam negeri minyak di Amerika saat ini lebih sedikit sekitar 1 juta barrel per hari dibandingkan angka sebelum pandemi. Dan ini ikut meningkatkan harga bensin di dalam negeri, selain tentunya juga faktor-faktor eksternal seperti perang antara Rusia dengan Ukraina. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.